If the power sliding door on your Chrysler Pacifica still isn't closing, stay tuned. I think we've got one more thing that could help you out. So in my first two videos, I detailed the problem I was having with my personal Chrysler Pacifica and the door not closing. It was occurring right when the door was latching, when the door was contacting the weather stripping. I solved my problem by using a silicone spray on the weather stripping and foam around the door to reduce that closing friction. But I got some comments from other people where the door was actually stopping halfway and I completely agree that's not a weather stripping problem. There's something else going on. Let's see if we can help you out. If your door is going halfway and turning back, it can only be one thing. It's still the same problem that there's too much load on the closing motor causing it to trip as if there's a blockage and returning. So in that instance, we need to start looking at our roller. So there's one up top here. There is one here under the rear window, this mechanism. And then the main one is down here. You can see there's quite a few wires. There's some bearings. There's the drive motor down here. And this is the track that it rides on. Now the first thing you want to do is actuate the door and listen. Listen to the top roller, listen to the back roller, listen to the drive motor as you actuate it, because if there's damage to those bearings or rollers, you should hear it, and that should point you to the location of the problem. Then you have to take the door and grab it and shake it. But seriously though, after grabbing the door and manipulating it a little bit, you can feel for points that maybe are binding or a little weak. Um, what I noticed when I, when I do that, manipulate the door a little bit, there's very little weight on this top roller and even that back roller. Most all of it is down on the bottom piece. So let's take a look at that. I think that's where the majority of the problems will be down by the drive motor and that track. So the first place I would look is at this steel roller here to see how much wear is on there. And then this track, which I'm actually surprised at the amount of, you can see a, a pretty good wear pattern in there on mine. And the actual drive motor is underneath this track right here. And that pulls this cable piece and actually actuates the door. So there's a cable on the front and behind and it pulls this piece to move it in either direction. So the main resistance that we're going to run into, I believe, is on this steel roller. And if it's grinding and there's a lot of noise, there could be a bearing that's bad in here. So then you're going to have to start looking for parts. But I suspect a lot of the cause will be the condition of this rail. So what we're going to do is clean that up and lubricate it. And that should help things even more. So what I'm going to use is WD-40 to start with. It's not a great lubricant, but it is good at cleaning things up. So I'm just going to soak this track down completely and wipe it off with a rag to try to get, that's cleaning up pretty good already. You can see a lot of that uh, contamination on there cleaned right up with WD-40. I'm also going to try to get this mechanism as good as possible, that wheel back there. And just flush anything out that could get in there. I imagine if sand or a lot of dirt got on this rail, it could really wreak havoc on things and, and increase the friction on there a lot to prevent the door from closing. But you can see how clean it is with a quick spray of WD-40 and a rag. See how this rolls. I'm on the passenger side now, just gonna duplicate the same thing. It is amazing how much dirt and debris and snacks this little pocket down here collects. So, 
Again, just going to spray everything up pretty good. And wipe it down. So I was debating after cleaning it up, putting some grease or some sort of a heavy film lubricant on that bottom track with that steel roller. I've decided against it. I personally am just going to, whenever I clean out the vehicle, um, use some WD-40 and clean that track. My concern with a, with a grease is that now I've got a sticky substance in there that's going to attract any sand or dirt uh, that obviously gets in that cavity and just make things worse. So if the silicone spray didn't work, hopefully cleaning that bottom track and checking the condition of all your rollers you can get an idea of what's causing your problem and fix it without having to go to the dealer. Thanks for watching. Adios.